So, what is the story of this film? Okay, so basically it's about three friends who have problems within their group and they try and overcome them. Um, but it ends up with Johnny, who's played by Jared, dying. Uh, the story is based around my character Johnny, who gets killed in a car crash. Um, while my character's friend Linda, who was played by Kayla Coates, and my other friend Mark, uh, who was played by Ryan Malloy, have to investigate my death. And it's basically about Mark, uh, played by me, and Linda, uh, played by Kayla, uh, as we try to get over the death of Arthur and Johnny. And uh, it's just those overcoming grief and the problems that come along with that. What are some personal challenges that uh, you had to deal with on the film? So some of the big challenges in this film were the paragraphs that I had to memorise, but also, uh, worst of all, was the sauce, which was used as blood. It stank and it made me want to vomit, but I had to get through it because that's what actors do. Um, well, I had to take on a role of someone who I am not, so I have to be very almost guilty about what happened during the role, and I found uh, playing that sort of stuff is quite challenging, um, along with a lot of, you know, personal organisation and costuming and everything like that was all kind of self-provided, uh, so there was all of that sort of providing stuff that I had to do as well. Personal challenges, well... I don't know. Uh, getting into the character was uh, pretty easy, actually. I was going to say it's quite hard, but it was pretty easy since he's just an unemotional dick bag, basically, and that's me. Um, the problems with the uh, problems. I don't find that many problems. It was pretty easy, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. Pretty cool. Would you ever consider doing a sequel to avoid it? It depends. Uh... I, I will if there's no uh, source as fake blood, but if if there is, yeah, no, I'm out. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I won't spoil anything, but uh, yeah, I definitely do a second one. Oh fuck no. Really? No. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course it would. It's been really fun getting to know all the actors, uh, Kayla and J Jacob. And yeah, that's been really fun. Um, and what are some problems that you personally had with this film? Um, yeah. Uh, there were a lot of continuity issues. So in a couple of shots, there were people in the background, including me in one of the shots, which was a huge break of continuity. And um, yeah, it, that part could have come off as a little, you know, sloppy or unprofessional. But uh, overall, I think it turned out really well and it all came together nicely. Um... I didn't find that there was, I mean, it's just people's availability times that I found were a bit uh, all over the place, I reckon. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, you know, just trying to find the time to film this movie. Uh, we had a scene where they got all the, the chips and it was really, really hard not to eat them all. And we pretty much just picked out on the on the chips what for that one scene. For that one scene, um, yeah, they were, we got like a whole big bag of chips basically, and it, we we're all just kind of like, all right, one more, and then we have to stop, and we just we just kept going until there was only like a few left. But that that was the main problem was doing um, uh, was getting over that the props and stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you personally like your character? Um... You know, can you relate to them in any way? Yeah, I, I do. Um, I can kind of relate to him. Like, if I was in his situation, I'd do the fucking same thing. So, yeah. I can relate to her because I would also feel really bad if, you know, I killed my friend. But uh, at the same time, it's almost as if she's too guilty about it. Like, I know it's to contrast Mark, and that's uh, a really good thing uh, that they have going on. But uh, yeah, it is it is really hard to connect with her when she's being so guilty about something that, you know, didn't happen. Um, yeah, he's just a big bag of dicks, basically, and that's me. Uh, he's really unemotional and unemotionally attached, and that contrasts with uh, Linda's character. And yeah, I think I think he's very much like me, yeah.
Do you think there will ever be a spin-off of just Mark's life? Hopefully. Hopefully. Here's to hoping. Yeah. That'll cool. be good. That'll be cool. <laughs> Alright, well thank you. You're welcome.